we're just gonna go ahead and start off where we finished last. You know what I mean? Go ahead and start off where we finished last. Fucking Tommy's at. Set to meet him downtown. Are you getting in or not? You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big hm. moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you've put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road waiting until he's finished with his broad. <laughs> If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an airing. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sour on Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss... And you don't just drive in places, then, then you get to pick holes. So then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You're actually serious. Fellas, knock it off. Christ. Alrighty, I think they're done speaking for a while. Dude, we're going 80 out here. There's no way this shit's 80. We're at least going like fucking 90 or some shit. How fast we was blown by cars. Oh, we're going 60 apparently. is insane. They're supposed to go 60 right there. They do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. All righty. Drive to the top floor. Oh, shit. Okay. Place seems clear so far. Only uh. people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Yeah, I guess we have a job. It's not really like a job. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bowie? Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Polly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah, it's fun. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now, 
now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <sighs> No, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, uh, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? What just happened? Golly, guy. Escort the truck. How the fuck? Get in the car, bitch. How am I supposed to escort the truck if the things? You mean like run down this shit and shoot at people? We got more of them over here. Are you? F this is not the time, bruh. This is not the time, bro. Fucking get out of there, Tom. I had a fucking choice. If I had a choice, I wouldn't be here, bro. Fucking me. I'll rock with the. The Tommy. Tommy holding the Tommy. Dude, where is the fucking aim assist, bruh? We all know my aim is shit, alright? My aim is not good. It is not good. We know I need aim assist, bruv. Well, shit, how are you going to get up in there? How am I supposed to turn on the sprinklers? Find a way in, Tom. I'll stick with the truck. Hmm. There's got to be some way up in this thing. Huh? There has gotten to be a. Maybe if I... Fuck, dude. I'm like, should I find a way in? You're like, oh, no, you can't go this way, that way, this way, that way. Oh, you thought that shit was gonna stop me? That one guy? What the fuck? Do I go out the same way I came in, or is there like a door? Oh, shit. There we go. Fuck, maybe if he held it with two hands, he could aim at someone. Shit. <laughs> My guy's over here holding it like... Fuck off.
Thank you. You gave me a free kill. Mm. Hold up. Kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts! I mean, I'm trying to shoot them. I mean, I. Fuck. Thanks, Paul. You're really doing a lot, bro. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, Polly. Aren't you just fucking worthless, buddy? Shit. You know how to fuck up a good fucking plan. It's crazy how I was shooting more than he was. Like, wow. Like, that is crazy. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? Well, you probably told it to me. Like in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it. We got more guys on us. Okay. Oh, let's slow fuck. Down get him where it hurts. Fuck. I can't even get over there. We're fucked. Fuck, we're just fucked. Let's just say fuck it and just Yeah. I mean shit, when Polly's not shooting, I'm the only one shooting. I had to shoot behind me, you know what I mean? Nice. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's see. Well, did you think of shooting, bro? Hit him where it hurts! Shoot his ass, Polly. Good shit, good shit. Alright. You can shoot at them, bro. I'll just get in front of the car so they can't hit it. Why is he driving so bad, bro? Just drive straight. Drive straight and they won't be able to. Morello sent more guys after us! Another motor coming after the bulls truck! Shit. Oh, you're gonna have to fucking shoot, buddy. Shit, how am I supposed to know where to... They don't stop coming, do they? Yeah, we're doing a good job this time. I'm not shooting them behind us. You can shoot them behind us. I'll just get in the way of it. Christ for that. Let's head home. 
See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. Nice. Looks like a 38. Morell's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet men. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Great deal. Okay. That'll probably be the end of this Sounds one. like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Woken up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. Oh, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything, except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Paulie had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man, Salieri. Playing him off on another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How's that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Alrighty. After this old little cutscene, will probably be the end of this one. So, you know. Bon appetit. His face and pasted it on his face. Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Alrighty, and that'll end off this one. You know. Um, see you guys in the next one.